So I doubt that there are really consistent data, but following the hypothesis that we have, um, it appears that the HPV really infects the squamous columnar junction cells that have the capacity to either differentiate into the squamous or the columnar epithelium. But there's no evidence that HPV can actually infect true gran glandular cells. So obviously this is something particular with these cells. And um, I mean, going into the molecular details, which I don't have time, I don't want to do right now, but there's evidence that, for example, HPV 18 is much more sensitive to certain mechanisms that interfere with the epigenetic regulation of HPV 18 that is found in the more columnar differentiated epithelium compared to what you find in the squamous epithelium. Yeah? So this is actually consistent with what is observed in the clinic.